We'll be talking about the most prevalently reported and diagnosed cancer in women, that is breast cancer. Breast cancer is a disease in which breast cells mutate and become cancerous cells that multiply and form tumors. You must have heard about the American actress and humanitarian Angelina Jolie, who decided to undergo surgery to remove her breasts, ovaries, and fallopian tubes because she inherited a mutated BRCA1 gene. After losing her mother, grandmother, and aunt to cancer, she opted for preventative surgery to reduce her cancer risk. According to the World Health Organization, in the year 2020, 2.3 million women were diagnosed with breast cancer globally and about 685,000 deaths were recorded. The breast tissue is made up of many different types of cells, including lobular cells, ductal cells, and connective tissue cells. Breast cancer most commonly occurs in ductal or lobular cells. The risk factors for breast cancer can be classified as non-modifiable and modifiable risk factors. Let's talk about the non-modifiable risk factors first. Female gender is the strongest risk factor. Only about 0.5 to 1% of breast cancer cases are seen in men. Other non-modifiable risk factors include older age, usually above 50 years, race or ethnicity, family history and genetics, menarche and menopause, the density of the breast tissue, previous radiation therapy, and a previous history of breast cancer. The modifiable risk factors include hormone replacement therapy, obesity, alcohol intake, smoking, physical activity, intake of processed foods, exposure to chemicals, and other drugs. Let's take a look at the different types of breast cancers. Most common sites for breast cancer are the lobules and ducts. Lobular and ductal carcinomas could either be in situ, that is, they are confined to the lobules and milk ducts, and they don't spread beyond that, or these carcinomas could be invasive, that is, they spread to the nearby breast tissue. Inflammatory breast cancer is a rare, fast-growing cancer which looks like a rash on the breast. Triple negative breast cancer is a type of breast cancer that doesn't have any of the receptors that are commonly found in a breast cancer. Paget's disease of the breast involves eczema-like changes to the skin of the nipple and areola. Healthcare providers classify breast cancer subtypes by receptor cell status. Receptors are protein molecules in or on cell surfaces. They can attract or attach to certain substances in your blood, including hormones like estrogen and progesterone, which help the cancerous cells to grow. Finding out if cancerous cells have estrogen or progesterone receptors helps healthcare providers plan breast cancer treatment. Subtypes that have estrogen receptors are labeled ER positive. Subtypes with progesterone receptors are labeled PR positive. Subtypes with human epidermal growth factor receptor 2 protein or HER2 protein are labeled HER2 positive. About 15 to 20 percent of all breast cancers are HER2 positive. If cancer cells test negative for estrogen, progesterone, and human epidermal growth factor receptor 2, the diagnosis is referred to as triple negative breast cancer. Hormone receptor positive or HR positive cancer cells have both estrogen and progesterone receptors. Hormone receptor negative or HR negative subtypes don't have estrogen or progesterone receptors. The most common symptom of breast cancer is a lump in the breast. Other symptoms include pain in the breast or nipple, changes in skin texture, nipple discharge, nipple retraction or inversion, lymph node changes or lump in the armpit, dimpling of the breast, and redness or swelling. Tests and procedures used to diagnose breast cancer include physical examination, breast ultrasound, mammograms, breast biopsy to check for hormone receptors, and genetic screening to identify mutations causing breast cancer. 
Let's take a look at the different stages of breast cancer. The cancer is labeled as stage 0 when abnormal cells are present but have not invaded the nearby tissue. Stage 1 involves cancer cells breaking through or invading normal surrounding breast tissue. In stage 2, the cancerous cells have formed tumors about 2 to 5 centimeters in size that may or may not affect the surrounding lymph nodes. Stage 3 involves locally advanced cancer that affects the surrounding lymph nodes. Stage 4 is the final stage in which the cancer has spread to the liver, lungs or the brain. Surgery is the primary breast cancer treatment, but healthcare providers may use other treatments as well. Breast cancer surgeries include mastectomy, which is removal of the breast, lumpectomy, which is removal of a lump, and breast reconstruction surgery. Providers may combine surgery with one or more of the following treatments. That is chemotherapy, radiation therapy, including intraoperative radiation therapy, immunotherapy, and hormone therapy. Of course, the treatments and procedures for breast cancer have their own side effects and complications. The side effects of chemotherapy and radiation therapy include fatigue, vomiting, nausea, constipation, diarrhea, etc. Since people react differently to breast cancer treatments, Palliative care helps manage breast cancer symptoms and treatment side effects, so you're as comfortable as possible as you go through the treatment. Complications of breast cancer surgery include infection at the surgical site, hematomas, nerve damage, lymphedema, etc. You can reduce your risk of developing breast cancer in the following ways. Regular self-exams and mammograms to detect breast cancer early on. Avoid smoking and alcohol. Maintain a healthy weight. Be physically active. And get yourself screened if you have a family history of breast cancer.